Couldn't have done much better weather-wise this weekend, Allison, but I know the forecast not really cooperating for us as we head into the work week. No, I know. We did luck out this weekend, though. It was a great weekend, especially one to wrap up the summer for everyone going back to school. It was absolutely perfect, but you're right. Unfortunately, that has to come to a change, and that's starting tomorrow. Right now, though, it looks clear out there. Pinpoint Doppler is showing us a clean sweep. No rain on the radar, but this time tomorrow, that could be a different story. We've got some rain on the way as soon as tomorrow night. Temperatures right now 71 degrees in London, 66 in Somerset, 74 in Jackson, and 70, 70 degrees over in Wise, and 69 degrees over in Paintsville. And throughout the rest of the night and early tomorrow morning, we're expecting a calm morning and mostly clear skies and a dry morning at that. Unfortunately, that is going to come to a change tomorrow night. But as far as the morning goes tomorrow, it looks like a nice morning for a commute. And temperatures will be in the lower 60s and upper 60s by around 9 o'clock. And I'm really actually not expecting anything in the way of fog either, so that's some good news there. Throughout the rest of the night tonight, like I said, we're staying clear. Temperatures bottoming out in the lower 60s. And by tomorrow morning, you can see that off to our northwest near Danville and near Lexington. Some showers are going to start to pop up around there. But I'm not expecting these showers to make it towards us here in eastern Kentucky. I'm expecting them to just kind of fade out and weaken as they push off southeast. And as they do that, I'm not expecting for us to see any showers as early as tomorrow morning. But the cloud cover will be around tomorrow. And then by tomorrow night, around 545, that is when the showers are going to start to pick up and storms as well. So some of these storms actually could be on the strong side and we could see some strong winds here and there, especially north of the I-64 corridor. But for the most part, we are going to be dealing with some scattered thunderstorms throughout the evening tomorrow. So if you have a morning commute going on tomorrow, be sure to throw the umbrella in your car in the morning so you're not caught in the rain when you're heading out the door for your evening commute. Tomorrow morning, or Tuesday morning, actually, we're looking at some cloudy skies and rain chances start to return Tuesday afternoon as well. You can see that we do have a possibility of some rain Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening. So the rain is really going to stick with us throughout the next couple of days. Rain trends, we're looking at um, anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a half of rainfall within the next couple of days. So we could see some heavy rain here and there. As far as tomorrow goes, though, we are looking at temperatures in the lower 80s by around lunchtime. And then heading into your evening hours, that's when we're going to top out around 85 degrees, around or 88 degrees, excuse me, around 5 o'clock. And that is when the showers could start to pick up and then the thunderstorms continue into the evening hours in our seven-day forecast. Well, we've got rain on the way throughout the rest of the week and even continuing into the weekend as well. Temperatures are on the rise by midweek, though, so it's going to be a hot and humid start to our week. I have to try to remember to get the uh, lawn mowed before the rain gets here tomorrow. Yes, you definitely want to go ahead and do that. All right, Allison, <laughs> thanks a lot. Straight ahead, uh, Malaysian officials are asking for help finding the debris from the missing flight MH370. We'll have more on that story coming up.